Welcome back to the 10 and 10. That's 10 apps in 10 days. We're going to jump into it with the app Betterment. Betterment is available on all platforms. So if you have iOS, if you have Android, or if you want to look at it on the web, you have options in all three places. That pricing is also free 99. And in summary, you buy groupings of security similar to Acorns, but it's a little bit more transparent. It's comprised, each of these groupings is comprised of stocks and bonds, ETFs, and it allows you to pick pre made investment goals such as building wealth or a safety net, or you can build your own strategy with 12 asset classes that are comprised of those stock and bond ETFs. Now, some pros to the app are it has a 401k or IRA rollover option, and there's a free 30 day trial. Now, after the trial, there's an annual balance fee of 0.15 to 0.35%. Um, but it just depends on what your balance is. The higher it is, the lower your fee is going to be. Now, a bonus to this program is that every three people you get to sign up for a Betterment account, you'll get another month free. Betterment is also FINRA and SIPC insured. Now, a con to the, to the program is that um, you have to have a minimum deposit of $100 every month or else your account is going to be charged $3. Now, let's go ahead and check out that app and see what it's talking about. Okay, so for today's app, you know, we mentioned Acorns yesterday, so we're going to go over Betterment today. As you can see, it's in the top middle, so let's go ahead and click on it. Um, this has a fingerprint scan access just like Acorn, so we're going to go ahead and log in. As you can see, when you first go in there, it's going to have your total balance as well as your total earnings. Mind you, I just put the balance in, I think, on Thursday, and it's already up $1.75, which isn't that bad considering it wasn't that many days. You can see I have an auto deposit already set. So if I go into the account overview, here's a, here's what I've invested, here's what I've earned. You can see percentage returns there. Um, if I scroll back and I go down to the bottom part where it says build wealth, I chose the build wealth plan. And you can see here auto deposit is $50 every other Friday. So basically you get paid every two weeks. You can put however many in, how much, how much ever money you want to put in then. So an auto deposit, you can see I have a goal. I haven't set a goal amount, but I did set a goal of 30 30 years um, since that would be like the time to retire hopefully I can do it before then but as you see on the bottom there's overview where we're at now there's transfer portfolio activity so you go to transfer you can set your bank up automatically you can choose and it shows your plan you can transfer money right now or you can continue on with your recurring pay, your recurring deposit you click on the portfolio on the bottom it's gonna go into um, oh here we go Got a little technical difficulty. There we go. So current portfolio um, builder starts, the built wealth starts at 90, 10 in terms of 90% stocks, 10% bonds. I decided to do 85% stocks, 15% bonds, just my personal choice. If you go to target allocation, you can actually change it by just moving this cursor back left and right. Um, you know, here we go. So that's where I'm at. Go back to current portfolio. And you can see here, so these are the... Uh, here are the different funds that I'm in. So you can see total stock market, large cap, mid cap, small cap, developed markets, emerging, and then their bonds on the bottom. If you click on the total, so you can see here, this is the current value. So out of the money I've invested, $62.02 is towards this specific fund or this exchange traded fund, which is an ETF. It's provided by Vanguard. Vanguard is just, you know, a finance company. So you can have Fidelity. It's, you know, a similar company to that. And they actually make ETFs and mutual funds. So I own 0.57 shares. And you can see some information about this asset class. Um, if you go to small cap, you can see there, it's that's the account value, um, how much shares it is. And if you, same thing, if you go down to the bonds, let's go, we got municipal bonds. That's the value. Municipal bonds is probably the most because with municipal bonds, you get the best return um, in terms of the interest rate. A lot of people try to get on municipal bonds in terms of bonds in general, but they're pretty hard. So you might want to check with your um, uh, local county um, city officials to see how you can get in on those um, emerging market bonds. So emerging markets is simply BRICS, um, you know, where you're going to have like Brazil, Russia, um, India. So um just things like that and then your activity so you can look at your past activity so there's allocation change there you can see I changed mine uh, from 90 to 85 percent and you can see initial deposit there you can see um, the market changes that's how much I made and then I have a pending deposit of $50 that's gonna come out on the 13th so um, that's pretty much the uh, betterment app stay tuned tomorrow we're gonna have go over drive wealth